Now, one thing that I relied on when I took the test was that it's almost impossible to have memorized all of the commands within Azure PowerShell and also Azure CLI. But the good news is there is a kind of predictable naming system for commands. We can have an expectation that when we want to go do something within the PowerShell or within CLI, that Microsoft follows a predictable naming system. And I'm going to talk to you just a second about this trick. This is, again, mostly for taking the test, being presented with commands that you might not be have memorized and which is the best way to guess it. So let's look at the CLI first. This is also our first exposure to what the CLI commands look like. There is a web page if you look for Azure CLI reference, and I'll put the links into the resources uh, section of this video, but there is a reference for this. So you can go and review all the Azure CLI commands, and I do recommend that. But if we look at the CLI commands for virtual machines, they follow this type of naming system. So CLI always starts with AZ or AZ, depending on where you're from. So the AZ, VM, and then a verb. Okay, so at AZ, VM list will list you all of the virtual machines on your subscription. AZ, VM create is starting the process of creating virtual machine. Of course, a lot of properties and parameters are required for that. AZ, VM delete will delete a virtual machine. Again, you do have to provide properties and parameters to delete a virtual machine. So we can see here, this is for virtual machines. They use the VM abbreviation, AZ VM, and then a verb. But then when we look at something like the Azure Key Vault, then the same uh, naming system applies. Instead of AZ VM, it's AZ Key Vault. And then you can say list, create, delete, the same verbs for Key Vault as for virtual machines. We get into something a little bit more complicated when it comes to virtual networks, they're abbreviated as VNet. But that's actually a subcategory of the network uh, service. So AZ, it's, you can see there's actually two words, AZ network VNet list, and that's how you list all the virtual networks on your account. And it gets more complicated than that if you want to talk about subnets. Subnets are subcomponents of VNets, and VNets are a subcomponent of the network. And so AZ network VNet subnet list will list you all of the subnets. Now you do have to provide the virtual network as a, as a resource there, but basically you can see that there's this, it starts with AZ, it ends with a verb, and in the middle are, is an abbreviated uh, name of the service. And sometimes it's one word, most times it's one word, sometimes it's two words or three words, uh, depending on the category. Now if we go over to the PowerShell, PowerShell is also similarly predictable. There is a PowerShell reference. Now if you uh, look, I'll put the link again, but if you see the uh, PowerShell reference, it's a, it's a, I would recommend both for CLI PowerShell. If you're into administration as a, as a career, you should have these bookmarked. You should have this readily available if you ever need to uh, reference it. But instead of the CLI being AZVM list, you have the verb as the first part of the word. And so it's get get hyphen AZVM. And that's the PowerShell command equivalent to AZVM list in CLI. Instead of create, it's new. Instead of delete, it's remove. So there's not that consistency between the verb names between PowerShell and CLI, but the same way that you can go from service to service and have the same naming structure, you go get AZVM for virtual machines, get AZ key vault, for key vaults and get AZ virtual networks for virtual networks, right? So it doesn't do the, the abbreviation the way that a CLI does, but you see the consistency between the verb names, the AZ is always there and the service name, and they're just in different orders. Some have a space, you know, in CLI has a spacing structure and PowerShell, it's all smushed together as a single word, but these are the commands that you're gonna need to um, sort of memorize and then sort of be able to into it when you're taking a test and they're asking you about the, um, you know, for instance, about the virtual network subnets, looking at this and saying, yeah, that does look, even if you didn't memorize this, if you can look at this and say, yes, get is a proper PowerShell verb, the AZ is there, 
virtual network is a proper service name, virtual network subnet is a proper service name, et cetera. So you, you, looking at this and a bunch of other random ones, you might be able to just guess this without even having to know it because you know of the naming structure. So go into those uh, reference documents. Again, the links will be in the resources for this video and have a look at the, uh, the way that these commands are named and recognize that pattern. And so when you take the test, you'll be able to guess two or three of the questions simply because not that you memorized it, but that you know that that's a proper way that a PowerShell command is formatted.